Okay, everybody, for a quick tip today, uh, in the case that you might have a hitch on the back of one, this is a Ford Excursion, by the way, pretty heavy vehicle. Uh, you have a hitch on and you can't get it off or uh, say it's locked on, you don't have the key, and I'm sure some of you run into this. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. Actually, uh, yeah, you can you can either put ramps under the back, put some 4x4s underneath the deck, bring this up off the ground, get it off that way. Or if you don't want to spend all that time doing that, uh, what you can do is let it back to this position right here so you can still get a skate under it, lock it down in park, put the brake on, I'm telling you, do all this. My tie down straps are still on, securing the vehicle. Now I'm telling you, do this every time. Don't walk behind a vehicle if it's in neutral and no tie down straps on it. In this case, I've got it in park and the brake on. I mean, this is the kill zone. They call it that for a reason. Be safe. See, I'm not gonna walk back there until I know it's not going anywhere. And then what I'm gonna do is get my skate I'm using a Wreckmaster skate. For those of you don't don't know, that's all I ever use. And I don't really feel real good about walking behind this, even with all the safety precautions I've taken. I don't like the kill zone. But just put the skate right under there like that. And of course, it's not so much protecting the hitch as it is the asphalt. I'm in a dealership right now. I don't want to leave a groove in their pavement. Uh, and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about in a second here. But let me go ahead and unload this and show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, no damage done. We didn't have to go to with the, all the uh, trouble of putting the 4x4s under it to ramp it up or anything like that. Everything come out just fine and you can load it the same way, except reverse your skate of course, turn it around the other way when you get to the point of loading. You look over here, this person, I would say, did not do that. And this is what happens to the uh, dealerships drive. If you want to get in bad with the dealership, do something like this. Okay guys, got this one unloaded here, or finished unloading it, and I'm back in the shop. Thanks for riding along, and I'll see you in the ditch.